How strong was my faith in Jesus Christ, God, and the Holy Spirit? Well, I went 17 years without health insurance. That was a test of faith for sure. Anyway, I have health insurance for the first time now in 17 years. So shout out to everybody in Asteroid Fight Club for being awesome and amazing. Stay cool. I am your eternal optimist. I've had a pretty great year. And once again, sending love and prayers to all those people who have had rough years. Anywho, what are we talking about? Maybe the X-Class flare that just happened off the sun after the SDO eclipse. You see it? It's coming up right about now. Got a filament tear off and then this banger. Man, December is my favorite month of all the months. There are 12 of them. I don't know if you knew that. You do now. So yeah, we are watching the sun do its thing. And solar activity kind of dropped off about three weeks before Jupiter went retrograde. And now with about three weeks until Jupiter turns direct, the sun is waking up. And in my opinion, that is good news. Because the sun sends us good energy almost every day. And strong energy is great energy. And right now we're tracking this banger of a storm. Uh, it's not a hurricane, but it's going to be hurricane strength. And then you got a wild jet stream situation that'll be pumping in snow and rain into California. But yeah, starting this weekend, look at that. That's, uh, let me put the dates up, I guess. Yeah. So boom, that thing, look at, look at how much rain that is. And look at the millibars. That's almost category two strength hurricane. Uh, millibars wise, wind wise, but it's going to cause a lot of destruction, a lot of damage, a lot of flooding, a lot of problems. So if you were in this range up through here, I would definitely stay cool and have some preparations. So that's a hell of a chunk of rain. And it's going to cause a lot of wind issues as well. You'll start to really feel the rain on Saturday night. And then into Sunday, it's going to get nasty. And that's heavy rain. There's even some purple in there, which is bad news and hurricane-esque. We're talking pile driving rain for days. Be smart. Be prepared. Say your prayers. And hopefully, you should be okay. Each of these steps are six-hour increments. Wait. Each of these steps are going to be six-hour increments. <laughs> each of these steps. Mercury retrograde. I cannot speak. Each of these steps are six hour, six hour increments that I say that. And so here we're into Monday. And yeah, it's going to push rain up the entire eastern seaboard. In Canada, you might get some snow. Yo, yeah, but the USA will be getting it from both ends. And you get some swing around snow on the back end. And then it'll start to clear up on my birthday, December 19th. And remember... Say it with me now. When the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, the human beings kind of lose their mind. And if you're going to be crazy, choose good crazy, yo. Like me. Who is your favorite X-Man? Keith Strong, three big flares in half a day. The X-Flare is the 21st X-Flare so far this cycle and the largest flare to date. We have to go back to the 10th of September, 2017, to have seen a larger flare. Remember, solar maximum is expected to peak somewhere around the end of 2024. Though nobody really knows exactly what the sun is going to do and when it's going to do it. You know, and I've been doing this YouTube stuff for a long time, 11 years now. And one of my funniest favorite things is every once in a while, there'll be a trend where people are like, three days of darkness. At some point, the sun is going to go dark for three days. And if that happened, can you imagine the weather surrounding it? I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but shit's going to go crazy. Um, and we're leading up to the April 8th mega solar eclipse that'll be visible, over, total solar eclipse that'll be visiting, visible over the United States of America. So we're kind of all on red alert just in general for all things through this year and the end of next year. But you are Asteroid Fight Club. You're the best of the best. 972. Yeah, dude, that's like Category 2 strength 
winds possible up along all the east coast i mean category two strength winds mainly up here from this model run but i've seen some models with some pretty strong low millibars as low down as georgia so i would definitely you know hopefully this will underperform people like hey man you made a molehill out of a mountain wait did i get that wrong anyway Hopefully it won't be that bad, but there's a chance it could even overperform what models say. Oom, um, Umgawa got that warrior power saying, Oom, um, Umgawa got that warrior power. He says, pretty simple video about complicated events, and then we're looking for some pretty nasty weather on the Pacific Northwest around Christmas time. So if you're traveling, be cool, be safe, be ready for some travel disruptions, I would imagine. And yeah, there's a chance you're going to be wonked out and funked up over the next few days emotionally so deal with it accordingly cheers y'all you and i do want to remind y'all that this x-class flare came after the crazy crazy comet that just did some sun diving some people say it didn't survive the dive well it definitely didn't survive but some people say it didn't even make it there who knows technically but you know usually when we get sun diving comets we get solar flares and coronal mass ejections, and this is just another case of that. But if you ask science, they'll be like, nope, there's no correlation. We disagree with that, don't we? We, girl, you know it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you, ma'am, lady, y'all, Astro Fight Club. All right, I think I got my. Still got the groove back a bit, so I will definitely be covering this event until it gets here and probably as after it passes. So, God bless everyone. Merry Christmas. Stay cool. And thank you all for all the love and the support over the years. Because like the sun, you light up my life. You make me whole. And thanks for sticking with me during all the times I've acted like an idiot and even been wrong. You guys are great, and I super duper appreciate you. And thanks for helping us prevent World War III. We've done it for, you know, since I've been doing this now. And we've also avoided civil war. So let's keep it up, stay cool, and I'll talk to y'all in the very near future. So God bless everyone, stay cool, stay safe, and remember, be very patient and aware when you're out there driving. Here is a Tesla, hitting a Tesla, and then hitting a Tesla. And it's going to be crazy out there shopping and on the roads. And people are going to be a little stressed out with all the pressures that come with the holidays. So be sure to drive safe, y'all.